this video with a little shopping haul, shall we? This portion of the video is sponsored by YouTube. You guys know how much I love supporting small businesses, so I'm very, very excited to announce that YouTube is having its first ever YouTube Small Biz Day on Thursday, June 24th. It is a live shopping experience that will be live on YouTube starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So during this live online event, you will be able to discover some like really cool new small businesses that range from categories like fashion, to beauty to food to like a bunch of different like unique uh, lifestyle brands and to celebrate YouTube small business day I'm going to do a little shopping haul of things that I got from some of the brands that are going to be featured in YouTube small biz day they're going to be like 20 plus small businesses featured on that day so um, let's get started so I'm going to start with a jewelry company because you guys know how much I love my gold. <laughs> this brand is called Malleable Jewelers. They are a fine jewelry company that ethically sources their metals and also their jewels and gems. They are LGBT plus owned and operated. Everything is handmade in Toronto and everyone that is working under the Malleable brand is actually paid a minimum of above the living wage based on the Toronto living wage. So one of the reasons why I love supporting small businesses is that a lot of small businesses kind of, um, they're created out of community and so they tend to really take care of their community or give back to their community, whether it's their own community or another community. So that's why I really love uh, supporting small businesses like this. I have this little ring right here. This is a flat gold band ring, as you can see right here. This was made using 14 karat fair trade certified gold. This ring came in this little envelope and it has this little card right here. On the front it says fair trade gold, it has like the logo. And then when you open it, it has the cert um, certificate of authentication. And then on this side right here, it has the uh, location of the origin of the metal. So mine came from Peru and also has the amount of certified metal, which is super, super important to know if you're ever buying fine jewelry, if you're ever buying gold or silver, it's really important to know um, how much of the metal is actually used in your piece. So I really like that they have this here. And I just, I don't know, I just really love this brand. I love what they're doing. And I think it's a really cool way to support a small business while also, you know, supporting the mind and having a really cool um, piece in your jewelry collection. So that was Malleable Jewelers. So the next two items I have are from a brand called Abel. This is one of the handbags that I got. They have um, beautiful leather bags. They have small leather goods. They have like really nice um, handcrafted jewelry and really nice like high quality clothing and shoes. So this is like a little hobo bag that I got from them. It's super cute because a lot of hobo bags tend to just have like that curve right here, but I really like that this one is kind of like a triangle or it has like an angle right here. So it's a little pointy. I don't know. I just think it's like really cute and unique. And I love the, um, the length of this strap. It's not too long, but it's also not too short. So it will fit comfortably under your arm and you still have enough room to like open it and like take things out. You know what I'm saying? I really love this black, this bag. I think it's so cute. I also think it's very versatile. And another thing that I got from this brand is this little wallet situation. So it has this little wrist, um, wristlet thing, <laughs> wristlet strap right here. So you can just like take it and go. I have like one of those larger phones and it definitely fits in here. And it has about eight card, six, <laughs> I know how to count. It has about six card slots right here. So it fits all of my cards. And then it has a little zipper right here where you can put cash or you can just put cash right here and then coins right here. All right, and the next brand that I'm going to be talking about is actually a beauty brand. This is a brand called Scrub Inspired. They are another female owned and operated brand and they have um, really cool like body and like skincare products. So the first thing that I got is this body and foot sea salt scrub. I feel like your feet are one of the most neglected parts of your body. <laughs> well, it is for me anyway. Sometimes I like don't moisturize properly or I don't like exfoliate properly. So I'm really excited to try this. 
And then I also got this um, sea bath, dead sea salt mineral soaks, and you sprinkle a little bit in your bath. I'm gonna be honest, it kind of looks like Parmesan cheese which is really hilarious, but um, <laughs> you sprinkle a little bit in your bath and you know it has like Epsom salts and things like that. So it's gonna make your skin feel really, really soft and it's gonna smell really good. So I'm also excited to try this. And then this product was really interesting. Um, this is their face mask. This face mask. This is a uh, coconut colada. What caught my eye about this product was that it actually is like a powder and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix it with water and then you can apply it with like this little brush and use it as a face mask and it came with this cute little mixing jar. Is this what it's called? Like a little mixing pot, a little mixing jar and a brush and you can just like with some water and then apply it to your face, which is very cool. Again, YouTube Small Biz Day will be happening live on YouTube on Thursday, June 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. I will leave all of this information and links to the products in the description box down below. Thank you, YouTube, for sponsoring that portion of the video. Hey, everyone. I'm hanging out with Josh. We are in Santa Monica. We're at um, a drive-in movie theater. About to watch a movie. Very excited. I got a margarita pizza. Josh got a... Uova Stranchetto's pizza. With two eggs. And avocado, which he's allergic to. Vlog about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. We got some boba as well. Tongue! And I am starving. So I'm very ready to eat, watch a movie, and drink my boba. Cheers! Um, guess who I found? Literally parked right beside her. <laughs> Literally parked right beside her. I was like, just like hanging out, like looking in my bag. And then she's like, Asia. And I was like, Whoa, we haven't seen each other since, I don't know. Oh my God. Like, I mean, at least a year. Yeah, like probably beginning of 2020. Yeah, literally. That's crazy. Oh my God. But we're here now. We're reunited. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and then I have my friend Miski here as well. Hi girl. Hello. Look at this color green. Yes. So cute. So cute. Colorful queen. <laughs> oh wow, this lighting. Yes. And there are going to be refrigerated the watermelon one as well. What kind of um, kettle corn is this? Yeah, so that is a sea salt caramel. It tastes a little bit like kettle corn, but it's not exactly like Okay. Caramel. Can I get one of those? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's yeah. do in a water. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Is this still recording? Hey. How y'all doing? Hey, girls. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. We should eat our food. Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, I was like, you're kind of going through it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Didn't I? I did. I am. I, did. I said I did. For what? I did what? She's going through it. She, she is. is. <laughs> All right, let's take these shoes off. And get comfy. Oh, that smells like a... Mexican food? Yeah. It is. Bobo Stranchetto pizza? Well, I would assume so, you know, mm -hmm. it has, um, I was about to say if it has Mexican in the name, it has Spanish in the name. <laughs> I just became my wor my own worst nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Happens to the best of us. Hell, I'm Mexican and I say stuff like that sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> do you even speak Mexican? Do you even speak Mexican? <laughs> I know. All right, I just did my eyebrows. I always outline them before I start plucking and shaving, so let's hope that when I wash my face, um, it looks good. So 
Uh, my eyebrows came out very nicely, I think. Obviously, they're filled in right now because I just filmed a video. I just filmed a what, what's in my bag video. Um, but now, I need to do a couple things. <laughs> I need to get my life together. I hate it when I wake up in the morning and there's stuff on my bed and everything's cluttered and not in a home. So, not only do I need to clean my room, <laughs> but I need to create a home for things. Um, so I need to reorganize my closet a little bit. Let me show you. I need to reorganize my closet a little bit because there's a lot of things that don't have a home, especially my shoes. There's quite a few pairs of shoes that I don't use. And so I wanna take those out and possibly give those away or sell them or, you know, it depends on the type of shoe. Um, you know, I just, I need to create a home for everything so that when I, you know, come into my room, it's not looking like this because I really hate this. I need to go through all of my tops and get rid of a few pieces because I recently purchased a few items that I need to replace in here. For example, I have like five white collared shirts that need to be replaced by one white shirt that I just bought. I actually plan on doing a video about this, which would be like um, what I'm replacing in my closet what I'm replacing it with and why. And that's just because even if you make a wish list for your closet, if you're not specific about the individual pieces that you want to add to your wardrobe, you can still get into trouble. So I remember when I wanted to add like a white collared button up shirt to my wardrobe, I put it on my wish list, right? And so when I went shopping, I found a white collared button up shirt, but because I wasn't specific about the fit or the material, I found myself not liking it and therefore not wearing it. So then the next time I went shopping, I found another, you know, white collared button up shirt, but I still didn't get specific about what I wanted. So I bought it and I didn't end up wearing it. But now I got very specific. I bought a shirt that is linen. I love linen. It's a very breathable fabric. I like that the shoulders come down here. They're not up here. It's very, very loose. I bought a size large instead of an extra small because I knew that I wanted my white sh shirt to be um, like an oversized fit or a relaxed fit. I got very specific with where I wanted it to land on my body, you know what I'm saying? I got very specific about the length of the sleeves. So now I believe that I've purchased the perfect white button up collared shirt. So now I can get rid of those other five that I purchased that aren't doing me any favors. So I'm going to, I plan, I kind of want to make a video about that. So if that's not like an interesting video to you guys, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I desperately need to clean my room. I hate clutter. I hate waking up in the morning and seeing this. And then look at this, this is my nightstand. Okay, we're gonna put in some work right now. <laughs> All right, so basically what I'm gonna try to do here is go through every single piece on this rack and determine when is the last time I wore it? Am I gonna wear it again? Is it, you know, personal styles always changing? So I wanna ask myself, you know, some of these pieces are a couple years old, so I'm just gonna ask myself like, is it even part of my personal style anymore? Is it? you know, part of the direction that I'm headed in with my personal style. So I'm just gonna try to go through every single piece and determine if it should stay or if it should go. Um, 
let's get started on this decluttering process. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I have made some progress, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clear out this area because I want to put this in my closet area so that um, I can put, you know, some stuff in there like um, accessories, scarves, gloves, and things like that. And then I want to move this and put it over there because this has like some of my makeup stuff in it. So I want to use this as like a makeup. Um, I mean, this is what I bought it for anyway. I bought it to organize my makeup, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to put this over there and then I'm gonna put those wire baskets, those stackable wire baskets over here. And then hopefully it'll create some more space in um, this part of my closet. Cause the problem with having this here is that I can't put, I can't hang anything up here cause it's so tall. So hopefully by doing that, I can um, create more space more hanging space um, so yeah I'm gonna clear that out right now <laughs> Okay, folks, we have made lots of progress here. So, first of all, I decided that I didn't like those wire baskets there. It looked kind of weird. So instead, I put them up here, and now I'm using them for my handbags. Um, this shoe rack I used to use for my bags, but now I'm using it for its intended purpose for shoes because I realized that, um, you know, I have these like sneaker boxes down here, but these are too small, like they're too short to fit boots and stuff like that. So um, what ended up happening was I was just putting my boots like on the floor because <laughs> there was nowhere else to put them. I couldn't even put them on top of here because there was no space up there. Um, but now that I have switched everything around, I now have a home for stuff. My All my sweaters used to be on this side and all of my shirts used to be on this side, but I basically switched everything around. I just think it's better this way. And then all of my pants are here. So basically like all of my shirts and pants are over here. And then all of like my outerwear and my dresses are all over here. And it's just because the stuff down here is lower than this dresser. So it just makes sense to have like the long stuff over on this side. And then um, I created a wardrobe care kit because I have a steamer, a debobbler and a lint remover. But the problem is that uh, they were always like scattered throughout my room and I could never find any of these things. So now I have created <laughs> a dedicated box to put all of this stuff in so that whenever I need to steam or debobble or remove lint, I know that it's all in this thing right here. I would highly recommend getting all three of these products because if you want to take care of your clothes, you're going to need all three of these. And I just put this in a shoe box, you know, reuse, recycle, re what, what is it called? Reuse, recycle, re whatever. Recycle your shoe boxes, folks. <laughs> I like to um, label these because what happened last time is that I didn't know which one was which. So I would have to take this down just to see what was in it. So. I put labels on it. Um, they're ghetto labels. I just use tape, but you know, it works. <laughs> so I use the KonMari method to um, fold my clothing. So as you can see, I use the KonMari method to um, 
fold like my t-shirts and stuff which I really like because I can see every single t-shirt that I own at a glance you know what I'm saying as opposed to having them like stacked up on top of each other where you can't see them the problem with the KonMari method is that you need a lot of space to do that um, so I'm thinking instead of doing that with my sweatshirts I'm just going to stack them on top of each other in the interest of space if I had a bigger closet, like if I lived in a house, maybe I could do whatever I want, but I don't. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, take advantage of the vertical space. See, if we had a linen closet, we wouldn't be having this problem, but we don't have one. <laughs> okay, so actually I do have a couple of things to steam. All right, I no longer have a clothing rack, so usually what I do is I'll just hang my clothes on um, the door frame <laughs> because I have nowhere else to do it. So let's get started. It is the next morning and we were almost there folks we are almost there all right let's get moving okay this is so exciting um, I feel like I'm never able to vlog this or like get this on camera, but <clears throat> as you can see, this little part of these pants is tarnishing a little bit. So I'm going to get my handy dandy jewelry polishing cloth and we're just going to polish and buff away all of that tarnishing. Ciao! metals. And I actually think I'm going to put this in my wardrobe care kit. I think this would make sense to put it in here. Okay, all right folks, we have done it again. But are you guys ready for the closet tour? Well, first of all, I didn't vlog this. This was supposed to go in the last vlog, but I forgot to vlog it. But um, I wanted to create a little separation between my room and my closet because there's no door to go into the closet because when I do my Zoom meetings here, the background is the closet. <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to have like a little separation here so it looked a little bit better in the background. Uh, but also it is just nice in general to have separation. So I just put a tension rod up there and then I got this like sheer curtain. And sometimes when I want to keep it open, I just have it here on my mic. <laughs> So that's that. 
Over here, I have all of my long stuff. So my long coats, my jumpsuits, my long dresses and things like that. That all goes right here because there's nothing underneath right here. So all my long stuff goes right there. And then we get into jackets, blazers, and things like that. That's all right here. And then I have my sweaters right here. And then I have this little um, gadget for my belts, so that's there. And then I have my shoes that are not sneakers. All my sneakers are down here in these um, sneaker boxes, but all my shoes that aren't sneakers go up here. I have a dedicated um, little box for all of my dust bags. I hate when I'm packing for a trip and I can't find my dust bags for like my shoes because I hate like putting shoes directly into the suitcase because like you're shoes are dirty I don't want it to touch my other stuff so I always take it in the dust bag so I have all of my dust bags in there so that I don't lose them so that they're all in one place I have some of my handbags here moving on to the other side I have both my suitcases in here each suitcase has a smaller suitcase inside so my smallest suitcase is in this one and my medium sized suitcase is in this one um, and then here I have my skirts my shorts and all of my pants and jeans and then up here I have my winter stuff so like coats and heavier jackets I have my towels right here in this little situation and then I have scarves gloves bathing suits and hats and then right over here I have have um, my sweatshirts and hoodies. I still haven't done laundry so it's going to be a little bit higher once I have you know cleaned my clothes and then I have my black shirts and then it gets lighter and lighter and then I have my colored shirts and stuff over here. I have some more denim shorts here and then I also have my workout sets right here. And then this is actually my loungewear drawer. So my loungewear sets go in here. And then over here I have my t-shirts. And then right here I have my loungewear singles. So sweatpants, shirts, things that didn't come in a set, like I bought them on its own basically like these ribbed knit pants or you know these sweatpants those go in there but yeah I feel like this setup makes a lot more sense it's a lot easier to find things and I'm super happy that everything has a home now it's going to make laundry day so much easier and I'm actually going to be excited to create outfits every day because now I can actually find things and there's a home for everything so yeah, how exciting. Anyway, y'all, um, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thank you YouTube for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys next time.